Hello, I'm Pablo Van Warhol. Hit that like button because you're watching... YouTube Art News. The only show that covers the art community on YouTube. Hello, YouTube artists, artsy dogs, hipster cats, and expressionistic elephants. We've got a great show for you today. Thad, Matt, and Josh will highlight the art of Leilani Joy, Fill in the Circle, and Maxim Grunin Art. Yaz will try to uncover YouTube's hidden art talent. Another artist has been featured in the On the Rise competition. Could there be more art-friendly changes coming to YouTube in the near future? As always, OrangeMonkey92 brings us subscriber rankings. But first, Tyler is going to tell us about the ghost channels. Let's take a look. What's going on everybody? My name is Tyler from Tars Art Track here on YouTube and today I want to talk about three artists that are very popular in our top 25. These artists are quite different from the rest because these artists are nowhere to be seen and their channels have laid dormant for a couple months now. The big question is, where'd they all go? Meet William Shamir. Out of the three artists, he has the least amount of views, but he has the highest subscriber count of them all. As you can see, in the past year, he's only uploaded two videos, one of which is Skyrim, and he got a hell of a lot of views for that one. Out of the videos that he's put up, some of the more popular ones are Skyrim, Speed Painting of an Imaginary Girl, Kurt Cobain, and Michael Jackson. Out of these four videos, the least one has about 300,000, and the most viewed has just over 1 million. And with a grand total of about 5 million views, only having 26 videos uploaded, that's pretty impressive. This is Eclectic Asylum Art. He is the second most subscribed out of the three artists I'll be showing you with 78,000 subscribers and just over 39 million views. By taking a quick look at his channel, you can see that he's only uploaded a very small handful of videos in the past few years. Here are some of the top videos by Eclectic Asylum Art, and they range from how to draw Mona Lisa art with 15 million views, to speed drawing with ketchup with 3.5 million, all the way to Elvis Presley with 2.2 million views. And the third artist is Nico DiMaggio. He has the least amount of subscribers out of the three, but has the most amount of views, topping just over 60 million views. And by taking a quick glance at the overall channel, you can see that only a few videos have been uploaded in the past couple years. Out of all three artists, Nico has the most impressive views per video. Starting off with number three, Megan Fox, with just over 4.6 million views. The next one with John Locke, just having over 10.6 million views. And a very impressive Spider-Man with just over 19.8 million views. Now you guys might be thinking to yourself, you know, these guys are doing really, really well for themselves. They got a lot of views, a lot of subscribers, you know, they're doing really well. But I bet what you don't know is how many thousands of subscribers they've lost in the past couple months. Check this stuff out. This is Vidstats X, a great resource to find out anything you want to know about anyone's channel on YouTube. And by taking a quick look, you can see that William's channel has more red markings than your bad homework assignment. Take a look at his activity for the past 14 days and you can see that he's lost subscribers every day with an average in the past 7 days of losing 8 subscribers per day. Now these stats are actually pretty good compared to what he was doing in the past. Check out where he was 2 months ago. He was averaging a deduction of 106 subscribers per day. But what's unfortunate is the news actually gets worse. Take a look at his average video views. You can see here that in the past 7 days he's only averaged about 700 views per day. But that's pretty low considering where he was at. Take a look at 3 months ago, he was peaking at 13.3 thousand views per day. Take a look at Eclectic Asylum Arts Vidstats page. You can see as well that he has a lot of red markings, especially in the subscriber counts. Take a look at his numbers from a few months ago. He was averaging a subscription deduction of anywhere from 50 to 70 per day. Some good news though is that he has been averaging a very similar view count per day, but I guarantee that his numbers now are much lower than they were when his channel was in his prime about a few years ago. 
And out of all three artists, Nico seems to be the one that's doing pretty well. He's actually turned his channel around and gaining subscribers instead of losing them. And his view count has also stayed relatively stable throughout all this time. This is especially promising when you look at his subscription counts for the past. In the past couple of months, he was averaging a deduction for anywhere from about 20 to 30 a day. But you know what? I guarantee that has something to do with his Spider-Man video with 19.8 million views. That's kind of becoming a very popular topic again. Alright everyone, I want to thank you all very much for taking a look at my segment, and if you haven't seen any of these channels, please take the time and check them out. They have amazing, amazing artwork and are some of the most viral videos on YouTube as far as art is concerned. And uh, leave them some comments, maybe you can encourage them to actually come back and make some more videos. That would be really awesome. Alright everyone, I'm Tyler's Art Check and I'm signing off. See you next month. Now let's take a look at the top 25 most subscribed visual arts channels on YouTube. And while you're at it, go get your dubstep on. Ladies and gentlemen, it appears we have some breaking news. Breaking news. Big deal. Here's Merrill with the story. Thank you, Pablo. Folks, we have some huge news tonight. And who has it for you? Anderson Cooper? No, Art News does. Let's take a look. Quick, do a YouTube search for the word drawing. What you'll find is something new and interesting. You'll find an auto-generated channel with more than 21,000 subscribers. This channel has millions of videos in total, but features a set of what is considered to be the 30 best drawing videos on YouTube. If you scroll all the way down the page, you'll see an interesting link that says, the selection and placement of videos and channels on this page were determined automatically by a computer program. And then another link that says, learn more. But what does it all mean? It seems that YouTube is categorizing videos. It's not entirely clear what the intention is behind it, but perhaps other groups have advocated, uh, saying that the categories that people can browse and upload videos into are not enough. The most interesting thing to me uh, is right here. It says an auto-generated channel is created when YouTube's algorithm identifies a topic to have significant presence on the site. Uh, it might be because there's a minimum number of videos or watch views about the topic. Artists are painfully aware that we do not have a visual arts category, but uh, perhaps we should see this as a step in the right direction. And drawing is not the only topic that there's a category for. There are many different art-related categories. Well, that's the YouTube breaking art news of the month. CNN, eat your heart out. Up next is Thad Taylor Art with the profile of Leilani Joy. Hey everybody, welcome to the July edition of the 2D Art Feature. I'm your host, Thad Taylor, and today I want to cover the wonderfully talented Leilani Joy. Hey everyone, Leilani Joy. Hello, and welcome to another Bonjour, and welcome. Well, ahoy there, you made Hello everyone, and welcome to. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Art Nouveau with your host, Leilani Joy. This is my video art blog where I document my creative process and give you guys some tips and tricks along the way. Her work illustrates beautifully rendered female portraits, although she uses mostly acrylic in her work. She's not afraid to experiment with mixed media and try new things. Her illustrations are beautifully rendered. You can tell she puts time and effort into the color and composition of her works. She's also not afraid to give tips and tricks about her paintings. 
She wants you to learn her technique and experiment with stuff yourself. One thing I love about her is her strong interactions with her fans. She's always giving back to them. To her, it seems like they made the most. I made a playlist right here so you can go check out her awesome work. Her enthusiasm and love for her fans make it totally worth it. Like and subscribe to the YouTube Art News. We really appreciate it. And as always, there's a playlist to my videos down in the description. I'm Thad Taylor with the 2D Art Feature. And until next month, peace. This month, for the second month in a row, an artist is featured in the On the Rise competition. YouTube art veteran Space Painter is up against three other channels and is currently getting his butt kicked. Hey, art community, let's do something about that. You have until July 19th to vote. The link is in the video description. Last month, the PBS show Art 21 lost by a narrow margin to another nonprofit called World Food Program. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go beast mode. Beast mode. Beast mode. Beast mode. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, friends and family, subscribers and supporters, fellow artists, welcome back to another episode of YouTube Art News. I'm Josh Waddy 16 aka Indy Joshua Art, aka the most beast mode artist on YouTube. So guys, if you checked out the last episode of YouTube Art News, then you know in the viral art video of the month, I featured Tim Gagne. Painting Clouds with Tim Gagne was the name of the video. This week, I've been thinking about three topics that, that have been on my mind constantly for the past week. I'm going to share them with you. The first one is, if there was a random art shack in the middle of the woods, would Tyler be in it? And the second thing that's been on my mind a lot in the last couple of days is, is it drawing or drawing or drawing with L's? I can't figure it out. And the third thing that I've been thinking about, which is probably the most relevant to my YouTube art news segment this month, and that is, why is it not possible to jump into a painting? When you see a painting, why can't you just pull a Mary Poppins and jump right into it? Well, the guy that I'm featuring for the viral art video of the month, he did just that. He painted an epically large picture, he sat down in front of it, and he got to live the life that he created through his painting. This video is a couple years old, but I just found it, so I'm featuring it. It has almost 500,000 views. It's immaculate. It's beautiful. You guys need to check it out. I'm going to show you a short clip real quick. Go! This video was uploaded by Maxim Grunin Art. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the box below, as always. Guys, I'm going to get out of here now. My time's up. But I'm going to leave you with this. Thank you so much for the support. We, the YouTube Art News, really do appreciate it. Every single one of us. We wouldn't do this if it wasn't for you guys. The art community means the world to us. You guys support us. We're going to support you right back. I really appreciate you all. We all appreciate you. Thanks so much, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the show. Beast Mode out. Do you have a confusing channel name that no one can remember? Like Kazanji and M? Screw you, Well, Pablo. now, YouTube is allowing its users to go by their real name. You might not become more searchable if your name is as common as Joe Smith or as unspellable as Meryl Kazanjian. You're fired. But if you have a unique name, or if you want to go by your own name rather than your channel name, you can do that now. We linked to the story in the video description. Up next is the 3D segment with Matthew Keeney. Alright, hey, just practicing. Uh, this month for uh, 3D and conceptual art on YouTube News, I looked at the work by Fill in the Circle called uh, Bruce Lee Speed Painting. Great movie. He uses his hands to make his artwork. So check it out when you get a chance. Links off to the side.
And last, but not least, Yaz has highlighted three amazing channels who are not getting the viewership that they deserve. If you wish to be considered for this feature, please post your work with a link to your channel on the YouTube Art News Facebook page. Hi, I'm Paul Bolesky and commonly known as The Paul's Art on YouTube and I've got an art channel. This is my studio where I do most of my work and just next door is our little gallery. So this is inside our gallery in Kaukopakova and all the artwork and paintings are mine. And so you'll see that most of my videos on YouTube are hosted by this person holding the camera. Hi! And from time to time you'll see this little art critic in our videos. Do it again. The second thing that crossed my mind the most was, is... Well, I bet what you guys don't really know is that even though these guys seem to be doing pretty well for themselves, you know, how many... Well, that was loud. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to, to the art feature. Blah, 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 blah. And one of those three ideas that I was thinking about all day yesterday was if there was a random art shack in the woods, would Tyler... Would Tyler be in it? Hello, painting? <laughs> Hope my drawing's okay. Yes. So, um, yeah. Redo. You're bad. Bad, bad pig. Bad pig. You stay. Stay. Stay here. So, hey guys, I want to thank you all very much for taking the time to watch this segment. I hope you really did enjoy it. And, um,. And if you guys watched the last episode, then you know the viral art video that I featured was by Tim Ganyard. Donyard. Donyard. Yeah. I forgot what I was going to say, but... Spoon. Painting Clouds with Tim Gonyard by Tim Gonyard. He, uh... He did nothing. Um, is what he did. If you haven't already, please check out some of these artists. You know, they're pretty good. They have... Uh, skills. You know, they got the... Drawing skills and Photoshop stuff. They do it well. Look at